One of the main reasons for having a report document is so that you can report on subjects that students have taken, of course. So it pays to spend some time thinking about how you're going to present those subjects in the report. For this video, we're in Academic Report Setup, Layout, Report Templates. To present subjects in a report, we work in the Subject Layouts tab. When you click on that link, you'll notice that you're presented with templates and the option to create new templates. But aren't we already working in a template, as in the report template? Well, yes we are, but at this point, we need to consider subject layouts conceptually before we go too much further. That's because you will now start working with templates within a template and layouts within a layout. Let's see how this fits together. In the Design tab, we see our report with all the components laid out. Each component does a specific job. And so you'd expect there to be a component that displays subjects. Let's scroll down to see if we can find a component for subjects. And just here, we see the component that displays subject data. It's this component that will pick up information from the subject layouts. So you have the overall report layout template with its components. The subjects component then has its own templates for each of the subjects. You can have one template for all the subjects if you want them all to follow the same look, or you can have different templates for different subjects if you wish to customize. That's where the template within a template and layout within a layout idea comes in. So let's click on subject layouts. Here we have two subject templates by default. If you don't see any in your system, you'll need to create a new one, which we'll look at in just a moment. Notice here the template is currently for no subjects. To make this work and to see results from the template, we need to assign a subject to the template. Let's click on that and assign a subject to this template. I'll make this template for English. A preview is generated, but there's not much to see. Why is that? I'll come back to that in a moment as well. It's important to remember here that this is a template within the overall report layout template that you are building. And this template is made of components. This means we can make further edits. By clicking on Edit Template, I can see the components that make up that template. At the moment, there aren't any components, but they can be added. That's why we didn't see anything in the preview. Let's build this subject template with two simple components. A list of components appears, and again, there's lots of choice. By clicking Preview, I can see what each component will look like in the report. Let's add the name first. Choose some styling options and click Save. And there it is. Let's add a second component to this subject. I'll add the Comment component. The usual principles for adding a component apply, such as styling options and the position of the component. With the comment component though, take note that you need to specify which comment. I'll select just the teacher comment, otherwise you might end up with all of them in just one subject. Click Save. You can see the component has now been added. To see what this might look like in the report, you might be inclined to go back to the Design tab, but notice that you won't see anything there, as this is just where we build the template. There's no data to be seen here. To get a better idea of what this looks like, you need to click on Preview. And again, there's only one schema in this example, which is why we can only build a preview based on Stage 3. We'll view the preview in the browser and scroll down to find English. There's no data in it, as we haven't started adding any student results. Actually, let's add one more component to make this look a bit more like a real subject report. I'll add the overall mark component as well. This should start to give you an idea of how to build out the appearance of a subject report. Now let's say we were happy with that template for all of our subjects. We can click on Template 4 and simply add all the other subjects to that template, or perhaps just the ones that we thought were appropriate. 
If we wanted a slightly different look, or content for one or all other subjects, we can create additional templates as required. By clicking on New Subject Template, some simple choices are presented. I'll choose Blank to start from the beginning. Remember, you can then edit this new template to suit your requirements. You can see the newly created template at the bottom of the list.